I'm not sure, but I may have um, told you before, what I try and do uh, when I come down here, uh, just to have a little chat, really, a little fireside chat, I'm not really preaching it. I feel if I'm up there, I have to preach. Down here, I can just be, be me. Uh, what I try to do is pick a line or a little phrase out, uh, out, out of the gospel or one of the readings, and then try and build, uh, you know, build, build a little homily around, uh, around that line. So the line I've chosen this evening is that line, I did not know him. I do not know him. And, um, and so we're going to hopefully, uh, to, together, not just me, uh, we're going to think a little bit about that, a bit about God and the concept of God and what the word God conjures up in your mind. When you say, which you will do in a couple of minutes, I believe in God, what do you really believe in? What is your um, concept of God? What do you mean? What do you mean by God? And at the last Mass I celebrated today, earlier on in the day, um, somebody in the front said, oh, to me, to me God means creator. And somebody else, a few seats down, said, to me God is Abba. Can you see a difference between the two? Can you see, can you see a difference? The person there who said, God is the creator, right away, that makes God very remote, very remote, um, way up there somewhere. The person a few pews back who said, to me, God is Abba. You know the, mean, the, the meaning of Abba? Well, yes, Father, but even more so, Daddy. What a lovely way, isn't it, to prefer to God. We, are you comfortable doing that? Daddy. Daddy. The difference in that and creator. Totally, totally, totally different. Daddy. And um, we use God. We, we manipulate God. So... We spend our lives trying to prove ourselves worthy of God and trying to appease God. And, and we regard a lot of people, and it's sad, um, I notice in confession, a lot of older people have never advanced from the concept of God that they got uh, in first grade or second grade in school. You know, a God up there does going to punish you if you're naughty or you're, you're they're still thinking along those lines. It re reminds me of a little story. little fella called Johnny. And Johnny's mom caught him with his hand in, in, in the cookie jar. And she was pretty, pretty annoyed. So her approach to Johnny was, God is very angry with you. You better be careful, watch out, because God will punish you. She was getting that idea in, into little Johnny's mind. So after saying that, she said, now go to your room. So Johnny went up to his room. And a few minutes later, there was an almighty thunderstorm. And she goes up to the room to see what Johnny is at. And he's peering out the window chewing a cookie and muttering to himself, all oh, this fuss over just one little cookie. <laughs> so Mam is not very pleased when she hears that. So she's now even more angry. So she goes down and she puts a big notice on the refrigerator. Um, says, God is watching you to really frighten him. 
So a couple of days later, Grandma came. Now, you know, Qurani's are very wise. Huh? Do, you, do you agree with that? They are very wise. And so Grandma came, and when she, she saw the sign in the refrigerator, she immediately knew what was going, going on. She knew the lay of the land. So when she got a chance, she called Johnny and she said, Johnny, do you know what that notice on the refrigerator really means? And he said, what does it mean? He said, she said, it means God loves you so much. He cannot take his eyes off you for one moment. See how she gave him a whole new um, concept of God, a much better concept of God than mom had given him of an angry God and out to punish us if we put a foot wrong. And many of us are still living. We're still living with that idea of g God. Now, another little question for you. There's a big difference between about God and knowing God. A lot of people know about God, and you can know about God, but it makes no difference whatsoever in your ordinary, everyday living. You can know about God or know about the existence of God, which is where maybe some people are. And that's totally different from knowing God. Totally different. Can you see, see the difference between the two? Knowing God, knowing, is that the word I, I would use for that is experiencing God. Experiencing God. How do I describe that in, in my own life, for example? Well, experiencing God, seeing God in all things, in every little situation in life, seeing God, experiencing God. Um, maybe it's similar to if you love somebody, um, it's more than just a thought, isn't it? It's, it's also a feeling. Hmm? You have a feeling for that person in your heart. Hmm? If it doesn't involve some kind of feeling, well, you'd be a cold, frigid kind of person, wouldn't you? Hmm? You'd, 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 be lot, you'd be like... You'd be like a lot of Irishmen that I know. They wouldn't. They don't have a feeling in the world. No, it's, it's true. It can be very cold. You know, they might be married for 40, 50 years, but but they're totally non-feeling. They never say to their wife, "I love you." Are, are the two of you married? So how often do you tell her you love her? <laughs> Put you on the spot. Yeah, go on. Now and again. <laughs> it's like it's like this happened on their fiftieth anniversary. A woman said to her husband, Do you love me? And he says, Of course I do. But she said, you never tell me. To which he said, did I not tell you on the day that I married you that I loved you? <laughs> you did, she said. But he said, when the situation changes, I let you know. <laughs> <laughs> tell her you love her. <laughs> Where did that come from, the head or the heart? <sighs> Poor man. <laughs> he never... <laughs> He'll never come here again. <laughs> Honest to God. <laughs> but, but, you know, joking aside, I'm money. And I'm not, don't take me serious. No, I'm not having a, a go at you. 
you just happen to be on my right hand. <laughs> Don't ever sit there again. <laughs> so so just, just, it's just to show you that there is a difference, you know, um, between the feeling and love, e e experiencing God. And, and just to finish off on, on that, um, I came across a lovely little thing, little phrase that you might remember, and I'll repeat it to you. I'll, I'll tell you twice so that it might sink, sink in. You know that God is a trinity, three, three persons in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God, God for us. We call you Father. God beside us. We call you Jesus. God within us, we call you Holy Spirit. You are the eternal mystery that enfolds and enlightened, enlivens all things, even us and even me. So, just to repeat that, with a lovely little phrase. God, for us, we call you Father. God, beside us, we call you Jesus. God, within us, we call you Holy Spirit. There you go. So let's stand now and... Um